Thanks for joining us. Um, my name is Grace Erickson, and I'm an Associate Developer Advocate here at WP Engine. And I'm joined by Fran. Fran, if you want to introduce yourself. Sure. Hey, y'all. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Fran with the Developer Relations team here at WP Engine, stoked for the headless side of the house. And always uh, glad to be here with my co-pilot, Grace Erickson. Cool. So today we're going to talk about search functionality with Atlas Search, um, Faust.js, and ACF in Headless WordPress. Um, so first, we just have a quick etiquette alert. Um, so please be excellent to one another. This is being recorded. And um, be kind to all shared demo resources. We will be sharing um, the Atlas Search um, details, um, but please don't like spam them and destroy our demo resources <laughs> um do we have a grace did we ever decide on a i guess i can just move it like a slide i don't think to move, but it's fine <laughs> yeah. um so what we're covering today is we will configure an atlas search license we'll create um i guess show cu custom post types and fields using acf we pre-built them to save time um, but we will run test queries to get that ACF data using Atlas Search and the graphical IDE. And then we will use Faust.js and Apollo Client to fetch that ACF data and build out a search bar, search bar on our Faust.js app. Okay, awesome. So first, just a quick overview on what Atlas Search is. Um, it is an add-on for Atlas customers that improves search for headless WordPress applications. And it actually does also work in traditional WordPress to improve search results there too. Um, so the problem is that um, default WordPress search without any other performance optimizations um, has an inaccurate search a lot of the time. So it may have trouble locating exactly what you were looking for, or it might return like way too many irrelevant results. Um, it doesn't support search operators and or and not in the searches. And it also doesn't support search for custom fields that you build in ACF. Um, so Atlas Search was designed to improve WordPress search relevancy. It offers support for query operators, so you can use multiple words to create a search. It adds support for searching advanced WordPress data types like ACF field. And actually, as of today, Atlas Search fully supports all ACF and ACF Pro fields except for image file, password, gallery, and Google Maps. So that's a lot of fields that it supports. Nice. Um, so this is a paid plugin and the price is variable depending on which Atlas plan you're on um, because we offer unlimited searches and index size. Um, but you can follow along with everything that we're doing today. Um, just the ACF data may not return in your traditional WordPress searches. So. Oh, okay. Sweet, and then... Um, so it's just some requirements, things that um, you should have set up. We So you'll need to have Node and NPM installed on your computer, um, an Atlas search license from WP Engine. Though, like I said, um, you can still follow along with everything. You just may not get like the same results that we do. And then we also have a WordPress is instance set up um, that has the plugins, advanced custom fields, Faust.js, WP GraphQL, and WP GraphQL for advanced custom fields. Um, it needs to be this specific release version um, because that's the version that added support for um, GraphQL on the fields. Nice. Okay. Okay, so should I start sharing what we have here, Grace? So, where should, uh, all right, Grace, you're my guide. What what should I do? I don't know what I'm doing. All right, uh, so we have this um, search or this um, WordPress site called Atlas Search Event. So let's start by adding the Atlas Search um, add-on to that. Okay. So we'll go to the add-ons in the left menu of left the dashboard. Menu. Okay, add-ons. Sweet, okay. And then um, we already have Atlas Search enabled. Um, and so we'll click Manage. So if I click Manage, OK. And then we will add environment. Add environment. Got it. And, and then, then we'll have to find, looks like at the bottom, 
that's the site we want to add it to. This one here? Yep. So I check it. Okay. Am I doing this right? Add environment? Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. Just add environment and then confirm that. Perfect. That's it? Uh, yeah. So it'll it'll take a minute to get everything set up. You can see that status symbol. Um, if you hover over it, it should say like it's pending. Um, so while that um, finishes up, we can switch over and create a new local Faust app. Okay. Wow. So I just clicked the button and it enabled Alice search on that actual production uh, WordPress yep. install. Yep. So doing that, it'll install the plugin. It'll set up all of your um, like URL and your secret okay. key. Um, Y'all, I swear the, the power of web development in 2023 you click a button and it does the thing y'all all right that's stoked about that so you want me now to set up a faust application on the front end right is that what you want me to do yep yep okay, let me go to the faust docs and get this ridiculously long <laughs> npx command um and then i will just paste that in there and um for those who haven't used faust js it's the the headless framework built on top of uh, Next.js. I guess it's a meta framework, and it just pulls down all the packages and dependencies that you'll need um, when you're uh, starting a node application on the front end. Grace, what do you want to name this? Um, Atlas Search and Taylor Swift. Atlas yeah, Search, Taste, Cool. So we'll be searching through. Um, I built out a bunch of ACF data of all of Taylor Swift songs and albums nice. because nice. I am a fan. Now, is her uh, is her tour over? Um, I think it's only it's only halfway over. Okay. I have not been yet, so it cannot be over. That'd be cool if there was like a real time atlas type search where if she bust out a a, a only exclusive this is on my tour live song. And five minutes after she busted out and it's on the internet, Atlas Search just finds it through an API. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, here. I'll let's add see. it right away. <laughs> yeah, let me code that up real quick. Uh, <laughs> let's see, search. Well, I mean, maybe chat GPT could, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, dash. Swift. And then let me just open my code editor and then. Okay, so now that's all set up. This is Faust out of the box. Um, I'm going to rename this so that we can have our um, environment variables set up, which are going to be your next public WordPress URL and the Faust secret key plugin. And that's more for authenticated post previews. Um, okay, so that's set up, Grace. What next? Um, so now let's switch back to the WP Engine um, portal and see if that's all set up. Okay. So try reloading that page. Let's reload here. All right. Looks like it's good. So we can open up the WordPress admin. Okay. So I'm already I was already logged in and WP Engine has that cool um the the single sign on through WP admin if you press that button, but I was already in here. Uh anyway, so um Okay, cool. I'm in here and yeah, uh, so you can see that it um in the plugins, if you click on that quick. Let me just make this big and then the plugins. Okay. So it um installed that Atlas Search plugin for us. And then if we go to the Atlas Search um tab down at the bottom left. On the hamburger menu. Okay. Okay, cool. Yep. Um then we can go to settings and just verify that the URL and access token are all set up and that looks good. So then we'll go to the sync um, sub tab. Think where oh, search, this, yeah. this thing here. Okay. Yep. So now um, we'll just have to synchronize our data. Okay. So uh, just that button. All right, yeah. all right. So the way the Alice search works is when a search request is detected in WordPress, um, we intercept it instead of it going to the default search. Um, so it loads the search configuration for search, which includes um, like the fields to include and waiting that um, is you can set up in the search config page that we'll show later. 
Um, so that's executed against our back end using Elasticsearch, and then the results are returned. Um, and WordPress hydrates all of the records and returns the data to the original caller, which is the HTML search. Um, nice. So it kind of completely override the normal search configuration. And then this, um, the data sync works by, um, it iterates through all the records for all of the posts, pages, and the custom post types. Um, and then the plugin will extract, extract data from each object type, including taxonomies and ACF fields. Each record is um, indexed. And then once that's completed, any changes to any of the content are incrementally synchronized as the content is created or changed or deleted. So we only have to sync once and then it'll always update. Oh, like just, okay. So no need for me to ever press this again, this button. Right, yep. Nice. Okay. I like automation. I like it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm into it. Cool. So then really quick, we'll just show the ACF data that we already made. Um, so okay. if you go into the ACF. ACF. Okay. Yes. Just click on that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so over in post types. Post types. Okay. Um, so we created two different post types, so songs and albums. And then we created a field group for each of those. Um, so songs just has lyrics as an ACF field and albums has um, like the track list. So a relationship field that links all of the songs to the album. Um, and then if you want really quick, we can go into songs and just show one of the, I'm um, sorry, songs on the left and show oh, one of the. The actual post type. Okay. Yeah. Should just show as an example, one of the songs. Want me to click into one of them? Yeah. Okay. Cool. cool. So it's just um, the normal title. So that's not um, ACF data, but then the lyrics would be ACF data. Nice. Okay. All right. So then um, some quick setup stuff. Um, let's go back into the GraphQL settings. Okay. Where is, there's the good old GraphQL. Okay. And then go to settings. Yep. Um, so we'll need to enable debug mode and enable public introspection. Public introspection. Okay. Then save those changes. Sweet. And then let's also go into our Faust settings. Oh, that's right. Where are you, Faust? Yeah. Okay. And then let's set up that um, front end URL to our, our local host. Okay, that's off port 3000, okay, and, and then, then grab that secret key ah. for our local. Oh, it's invalid, hold on. I was, I'm just gonna. And then I'm gonna grab this. Okay, and then the secret key, I'll put in the front end of Faust, yeah? Yep. Okay, and then let me take out the uncomment, save that, and then I need to grab my WordPress URL. Where are you? General, there you are. And then we've got this in here. Okay, so we're all good there. We've got our environment variables needed. Okay, Grace, cool. Do we need to have the Faust secret key um, equals before the plugin? Or does uh, that's it right. Add? You are correct. Just underscore secret key and equal. Cool. Nice. All right. So that is all set up. 
So now let's go over to the graphical IDE and start building some search queries. Okay. So first, um, we'll just build a really basic um, query so we can use the query composer. Oh, okay. I reckon. Um, so let's search for songs. Okay, songs. Okay. And then click into the nodes. Okay, a song has nodes. Okay. And then let's grab... So we'll want the database ID and the title. We want the database ID, okay. And then we want the, you said the title? Yeah. Perfect, okay. And then the um, ACF fields are called song fields. Song fields. Wow. Um, it's up, up a little bit. There yeah. they are. And then grab the lyrics. Okay. Perfect, so try running that. Okay, let's press play here and see what we get back. And yes, cool. In the so exact... that will return all of the songs, all two hundred and eight Taylor Swift songs. Yeah, I just get stoked for <laughs> WP GraphQL. You ask for something in this shape, and you get the exact same thing back in this shape, and it's just it's a dopamine hit. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Um, but then to make it this a search query, um, after songs on line two. Okay, we got to pass in some params. Yep. So we'll we'll type where. Where and that is like I guess that's the keyword to search something. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So that's the keyword, and then what? And so then a colon, and then we'll pass in an object. Pass in an object. Okay. Um. That search colon and then a string that you want to search for. So we can search um, for running as an example. Running. Running. Okay. Is that is that this is that like right grace and text yep. syntactically okay okay and then just press play yep cool so that will return all of the songs that have running anywhere in the lyrics um oh wow okay And so this search works because um, because Atlas Search can Wait. search within um, ACF fields. But just to show this off, if you go into plugins again, Fran. Sure, yeah. That's pretty sweet. And deactivate Atlas Search. Deactivate. Okay, then what? And then go back into the graphical ID and rerun that search. Okay, let's try it. Oh, it may be indexed and saved that. Um, but would would uh, technically it, it should not return yeah. that search run? Okay. Man, Alice Search is so good; it works even deactivate. <laughs> Whoa, mind blown, y'all, or what? <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, so it should not, since running isn't in um, any of the song titles, um, which should be the only thing available to the default search, um, that shouldn't have worked. But I think that it indexed it and saved it. Um, okay. So it should have done that in the reverse order. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but this uh, is pretty sweet, though. Okay, cool. All right. Yes. So then let's draw off. Um, go back and reactivate Alice Search. Okay. And then search. So I've got it activated again. All right. Okay. And then back to the graphical IDE. Okay, let's get more dopamine. All right. <laughs> um, so some other cool thing that Alice Search does is it allows um the search operators. So um after running, let's add a not operator. After running, okay. So here, okay. So just after running, you type um, all capital, not, all capital not. <laughs> oh, like right in the string. Yep. Not space, and then try nothing um, because 
sweet nothing had running in the lyric. Running not nothing. Okay. So then hit play on that query. And then um, just start, like scroll down and make sure that sweet nothing wasn't returned. Fiction speak now. Carolina. Oh, Sparks Fly is a good one. The one. Starlight. Only the young. I know places. Yeah. Nice. It's not there. All right. So then let's do the opposite and let's use the and operator. Um, so switch that not into in all caps and. All right, so then we got Sweet Nothing, um, and then we got any other song where both running and nothing are in the lyrics or the name. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. The thing is, too, is like I've, I've messed with trying to implement like on headless sites before um, actual search func functionality and uh it's 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 tedious and it's a beast and the fact that this 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 plugin does this out of the box is pretty pr pretty valuable from a from a developer's like time save perspective that that's pretty sweet for sure all right so then the last operator is or um or okay. yeah so let's um switch it to search for sweet or lover Sweet or lover. Okay. Sweet or lover. Okay. These are two, th two words I know nothing of because I'm a single man, but that's okay. All right. Press play on that. <laughs> uh, let's see well, here. So for this one, it added lover to our results. Um, and that's because it's searching for anything that has the word sweet or lover. So it doesn't have to have just sweet in it that's pretty awesome okay nice grace and they're like right here too yeah cool okay so next let's look at the atlas search search config page atlas search and then the search configuration already whoa cool what is this um so this provides a lot of options for how like what kind of search results you want to return. Um, so that first thing at the top, you can either choose to be running a stemming search or a fuzzy search. Um, so stemming is, it reduces the word down to its root form. So like when we search for running, it um, will return results for like run, for runs, um, like any, it, it goes back to like the root form and then searches for any form of that word. Uh, um, so that can help that's... with accurate results because if you are searching for like one form of the word, you may want to also see results for other forms of that same word. Okay, and that's what stemming is, right? Yeah. Because I get I get confused with yeah with the nomenclature on when it comes to stemming and fuzziness. Got it. So stemming is root word. Okay. And so then fuzziness is um, handles typos basically. And so if you switch that over to yeah. Or actually, let's keep it at stemming. Okay. Okay. Um, and go back to the graphical IDE. Okay. Click. Um, and let's search for the word nothing. Nothing. Um, but change one letter. So, like, delete the O, maybe. Oh, okay. Um, just this? Yep. Is and that then run that search. So it won't return anything um, because it's because fuzziness isn't enabled. And so oh. now if we go back over to fuzzy to the search config page. Okay. And we switch that over to fuzziness. Fuzziness. And then hit save config. Um, then go back to the IDE and run that same search. Oh, just hit the okay play again yep oh so it did the okay oh, oh. so um basically the fuzziness um distance was set to one and so anything that's one letter off from 
thing, um, it'll return. And so, um, like, you can set fuzzy fuzzy distance to either one or two. And so if, if we had set it to two and we had, like, we searched just for, like, thing, then it would still return results for nothing. Um, oh, cool. So. I think that's super valuable, too, because... And it's funny because, uh, like, you know, stemming or fuzziness, um, you know, especially like me, for those who don't know me, I'm like a rock climber. So I'll fat finger code all day or like I'll mistype something. So this is another thing. So, yeah, this is pretty epic. Cool. Um, and then while we're doing this, let's also switch over to the um, to the front end traditional WordPress site. Oh, okay. Do you want me to just visit the site? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's busting a redirect. Hold on. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah give me a sec. Sorry. I'm just going to. Did you disable it? If you go into. No, I didn't disable it. I can it. just pull the, I can just pull the, um, the actual uh, URL here. Let me do that. And then do a new tab here. Oh, <laughs> I can um disable it quick. Okay. All right, try now. Okay. Perfect. Yay. All right, so. Um, in that little search bar. Okay. Here. Yep. Search for um, nothing. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Boom. So, um, this is showing that Atlas Search also does work with the traditional WordPress search. Um, Nothing is only in like the lyrics of Cardigan, which is an ACF field. And so all of those, it's a, just in the lyrics of. And so if you did this um, using just traditional search, it would only return the one result of sweet nothing because that's the only thing that is not an ACF field. And then it also, if you search again um, for like nothing misspelled, so like delete the O again. Right, let me just do it in the query string uh just delete the o yeah um so it'll do all the same things because oh, yeah. atlas search still has the fuzzy search enabled on the back end very cool all right go okay. back to the um back to the search config page okay we need atlas search config okay And then um, down below, all of these models, um, this is from where Atlas Search went through and indexed all of the um, all of the different custom post types and um, post and page um, and all of the fields that are on it. And so this searchable checkbox, um, you can go through and decide which fields you actually want to be searchable. Um, so like if we wanted to do a search and we had it searching like everything on our site, um, but we didn't want to return albums, we just wanted to return songs, we could like uncheck all of those three check boxes. Uh, which one should I uncheck? Sorry, I'm having fun in the chat with <laughs> Kellen. It's the why not both? <laughs> I mean, I'm down. We can have it all, guys. We can have it all. Um uh, what would you say again? <laughs> Very sorry. So uncheck this. Um. Yeah. Let's. <laughs> yeah. Let's uncheck that. Okay. <laughs> um, and then we can also uncheck like anything from like posts or pages above because we don't really want those in our results. You. Uh. Can I just uncheck it all? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. And then um, this like little weight slider on the side um, that determines how high up in the results um, the searches are. So actually recheck that 
album title. Okay. And if we wanted albums to show up before songs, then we could move the weight up to like anything above one on that slider. Yeah. Um, and then just hit save config. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So that makes this, like, in a sense, w w w you know, pertaining to the word weight, it's it's a heavier um, weight versus these other things, and it'll this it'll like populate to this first. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So it gives like the album title more importance than any other results that are returned. Got it. Um. So let's go back to our graphical IDE and okay. and show that off. Um, so let's delete that query. Okay, and I'm going to just type this out here. Query, and then what do we want right now? Let's We're call gonna... it like ACF search query. Query, okay, and then I'm going to open up some Carly's. Okay, and then what are we asking? What's the first um, thing we So, yeah, we'll search for content nodes. Content nodes, got it, okay. And then um, we'll add a, the where argument. The argument. Okay. Uh, sh, there it is. God, I love autocomplete. Where? Okay. Where? And then. And the keyword. And the, then. Um, um, search. Is that going to take an object? Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then search. All right. And, and let's then. search for a quote that's um, Taylor's and <laughs> version. And you said ver version? Version? Yep. Um, and then we'll go into the nodes. Okay. Oh, you need a curly brace on, oh, do I need to on open the up end another? of line too. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. Nodes. And okay. then another object. Um, we'll yeah, so we'll create like a we'll do like the dot 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 on album to oh, create like a fragment. Thread. Okay, yep. Yeah. On and is it on album? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's two two separate words. On album. Okay. And then that'll yeah. take I'll get another object open and then what do and we then got? There? Let's grab the ID and title. ID title. Okay. And then um below that fragment um we want to do the same exact thing for song so if you want to just so copy or redo on song yeah and we'll also grab id and title and title okay all right try running that let me pretty it okay and then hit it okay nice nice so we've, we're pulling okay awesome so this will include all of the albums first that have Taylor's version in the title or have a song on it um, that include Taylor's version. And then all of the songs that are Taylor's version. Um, and so this only returns like the first 10, I think. Nice. Cool. And this works with the ACF. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that new ACF plugin is great, isn't it, Grace? Yes, huge fan. All right, so then the last thing that we need to do in this graphical IDE is we need to make this um, accept a search term variable instead of just like uh -huh. the string hard that we're code. passing in. You don't um, want so to hard can, code it. Yeah. yeah, so we can use it in our Faust app. Yeah, no one wants to hard code anything anymore. Devs, <laughs> are, getting, devs are getting so lazy with <laughs> um all right so we're gonna pass in this variable um and what are we gonna call it um let's just call it search term uh search uh term okay and then and then declare it as be? type string as a type of string okay and then i'll put a bang okay and then then and then um where we have our quotes taylor's and version yeah um, we'll replace that with our search term variable. Okay, so I'll turn this into a variable too. Okay. Yep. So dollar sign and then put in that search term variable. Okay. Nice. 
All right. And then that should be good to go. If we want to pass in a, a query variable just to make sure that works. Okay. So if I go this and then I go search term and then what, uh, what should I, what do you? Um, let's just do Taylor's and version again. Cool. Nice. All right. There's all Taylor's versions. So, oh, wait, it's um, and has to be capitalized. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. The whole, it's, uh, it's, not, it's, it's like that, right? Yeah. This yeah. Try rerunning that. Now. Let me try rerunning it. Yep. All right. There we go. Now we're okay. getting the result. Okay. Okay. Okay, so grab that query and we will go over to our Faust app. Okay. And um, you want me to start the server up on this one, or um, yeah, yeah, let's do that. And then let me just go to localhost just to make sure this. Um, it's it's working. Should give you the boilerplate uh, starter of Faust. <clears throat> there you go. Okay, here's the front page template. Okay, cool. Let me go. You want me to go back to Visual Studio? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we will be making a new page. Um, so inside of that pages directory, create a new file. Okay. And we're gonna call it search.js. Okay. Um, so then the first thing that we need to do is import um, React and use state um, from React and then get use query and GQL. From Apollo client. What was the other thing we needed to import? Um, um, import use query and GQL from Apollo client. And this is coming from Apollo, okay, and the GraphQL client, okay. Which is uh, which is the new client that uh, FaustJS uh, uses? Okay, and then you've got some code for me, Grace. Yeah. So then we'll be um, setting up our query. Um, so basically, just paste in that search that we took from um, the WordPress admin. Okay. Cool. Hold on one second. Let me grab that real quick. Okay, I'm going to set up this this constant variable here. Whoops, I oh. forgot my imports. I erased my imports. <laughs> here, I'm going to, I have them cut on a clipboard here. Here, cool. And Easy. then what? So we've got a, ver a constant variable that is setting up our GraphQL uh, query. Okay, cool. Yes, um, and then we will um, open a new function. Okay. So like export default function, and let's just call it song finder. Um, so then, and then um, in the return for that, just put like a open, open a H1 tag or something, okay. just so, just to make sure that that is working. Perfect. Want me to visit that route? Should I visit that route here then? Yeah. Just <laughs> okay. Yay, we have some HTML. Woo. <laughs> All right. So Dick. then um, yeah. let's handle 
getting the um, results from that query. Okay. So let me just grab, I'm going to get some pre-populated stuff Grace made just to save some time here. So right under this query. Um, so this goes inside of the function, but before okay. the return statement. Got it. Okay. And what's this code doing? We got, okay, we're using React. Okay, go ahead, Grace. So yeah, we're using React's um, use state to um, get a, to have a search term and then set the search term. Um, and we will use the use query to run that search that we um, set up above and set it that data equal to what is returned. Um, and then we're checking that we got any results back. And then um, for our form we'll, that we'll build in the HTML, um, we're going to have a handle search um, that will basically just anytime anyone types in the form, it'll rerun that set search term, um, rerun that query, and return the results. Okay. So then. You've got some JSX for me? I do. Okay. So then for the return, we'll want Ooh. to build out a form. I like this JSX that you're giving me, Grace. This is good <laughs> JSX. <laughs> Let me just put this in the return statement here, and I'm going to have to wrap some. What is the plural of parentheses, y'all? Is it parentheses? I think it's just parentheses. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I okay, cool. Nice. So let's go through this return here and what this JSX is doing. Yes. So we're we're setting up a form and then on submit, um, we are running that handle search function that we just um set up right above. Um, so basically, anytime that anyone is um, typing in this input bar, um, it's going to run handle search. Okay. Or at any time you hit submit, sorry, it'll handle search. Um, and so then it'll um, load um, or return an error, sad face. If there's an error, if there's no results, then it'll return no songs found. Um, and as long as there are results, then it'll map through the array of all of the results and just display the item title. Okay, cool. Sweet. And this should work, right? Now, yes. As it, as it, um, as and I just have one more thing. Okay. You could open up the um, base.scss file. Oh, Grace, now I'm nervous. You, you're going to make me do CSS? No, you just have to. Oh, man. Y'all, I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous now. Uh, usually not nervous for <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, where do I open up the CSS? Um, yeah, so inside of styles. Uh, styles. <laughs> yeah. And then that base. So we're just going to okay. take over that file and just paste in um, the you CSS want me to erase the whole file it. and then yeah. just paste in this CSS that you're yeah. going to give me? <laughs> oh, man, CSS makes me nervous. You know I want it to look pretty, Frank. I, I know. I know. And you're, <laughs> you're, you're amazing at CSS. But I, for one, have ran and powered from CSS my entire DevRel and, and sales engineering career. <laughs> So maybe it's time that I, I get some big boy dev pants on and start learning. CSS. Okay. So All right, now let's go to where it's um, running locally. Okay. Now, should I cut the server and restart it or this should be fine? Um, it should be fine. Okay. I think. Ah, look at that. <laughs> All right. So try searching for. This is pretty sick. Try searching for Taylor's and version again. And do you want me to write it as we wrote it in the graphical IDE with the ant, like the? Yep. And should be capitalized. Taylor's and version. Is that what you, is that yep. good? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So that is returning the same things that our graphical IDE did. So it's 
first returning all the albums that have Taylor's version in the title or in the title of a song on the track list. And then scrolling down, it'll start returning um, songs that have Taylor's version in the name. Pretty sweet. Wow. Awesome. This is sick. This is sick, Grace. All right. Perfect. So that is that is the end of the coding. If you want to switch back to the slides. Okay, yeah. Let's get back to that. While I'm pulling that up, um, was the last, it was questions, right? Was the last. Yeah. Question. Yeah. So there's questions and then a resources slide, but yeah. we can start taking questions if anyone has any. Hold on, let me switch over to, I've got like a bunch of different browsers, but I'll pull up the slides in a sec here. <clears throat> Kick me out of the uh, Google Drive. Does anyone have any questions or all good? Here, let me pull up these resources real quick. Um, the only question I had is, um, I'm sure it does, but it just if you register a, a post type in code versus in the plugin, that'll get picked up um, as well in the search. Yep. Okay, cool. It looks awesome, though. This is really cool. I'm pumped to get it on a site. Oh, thanks. Yeah. The thing is, um, I tried to implement this like a long time ago when I first started uh, using Next.js when I got out of React Bootcamp and I was using Algolia and their like React client. Uh, and it was just, man, I could, I, I broke it 10 times to hell. And I was like, you know what? Should I, should I just quit? Should I just quit engineering? <laughs> like this, I suck. <laughs> so this kind of stuff is heaven sent for me anyway. And it's just like, yeah. So hold on, let me see here. Can you guys see my screen? Yep. Okay, cool. I'm going to go to the last slide. <laughs> is this what you want to show? Uh, yeah. Grace? All right, cool. Uh, is are there any is there any like caching layer here? Like, do we need to like flush it if um, you know content's getting updated, or is that kind of handled on this? like synchronizing once you do it one time? Um, I believe it's handled. Is that correct, Luke? Yep. Any chain to content or fields or anything like that, that'll just sync automatically. Awesome. Thanks for the question. Mm -hmm. um, so the last slide I have is just resources. Um, so if you want to go um to look at the code for the search page that we built um i have that up at a github repo so i have the link for that um we have some great atlas search documentation that we're linking to and then um just all of our headless devrel content um both about atlas search and not um all lives at wpengine.com slash builders slash headless um, and then the last thing is um, join our Discord. If you have not already, we have like over a thousand um, headless devs in there. Um, it's a great place to ask questions or just show off what you're working on. So, And then just one more thing to, to plug on our side for headless DevRel, since we do these um, upon cadence, these events. Uh, the next one, I think you guys will probably be pretty stoked for. It's going to be uh, our partnership with Big Commerce that... Um, essentially stitches the big commerce uh products data into your wordpress backend with wp engine we're going to do like essentially a headless uh, e-commerce uh, setup walkthrough uh, with the next.js front end so if you guys have any kind of sites that are revenue driven and have like a um, online presence presence that need that generates revenue um that's going to be our next uh, event um, so one more oh. question if you don't mind sorry yeah. um the uh is what about is there like a way what happens if the server or the last search instance goes down or is that like does that what revert to the wordpress search or how is that like what, what would happen in that case good question actually that's a good question i actually don't know the answer i'm not yet. sure luke do you know 
Sorry, one more time. I was doing a Slack. No, no worries. Yeah, I was just curious, like, you know, if for whatever reason the last search instance went down and, you know, there's like or some sort of interruption there with the proxy, does it fall back to WordPress search or is there some way it shows it in the panel? Just like if, if we're going to stick on a production app, I just want to make sure that, you know, something that we could track that. Yep, that's exactly right. It'll fall back to default WordPress search. And um, <clears throat> you can see whether or not it's served from Atlas Search in the um, uh, WP GraphQL debug. It'll say serve okay. from Atlas Search. And so you, you, you'll be able to see what where the search is being served from. And yeah, it's a graceful fallback to default. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, sweet, Luke. I didn't know that either. Yeah, that was a really good <laughs> And I work here. <laughs> Jeez. All right. We should probably put it in the documentation. <laughs> yeah, like, like, okay. Open a PR. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Well, thanks for joining, everyone. Yep. Thanks for joining, y'all. And until next time, happy coding. Bye.